start with signs to your chakra readings for October. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay, I've got everything laid out over here. Um, straight into this, we are talking about relationships, talking about that beautiful intuition, knowing intuitively that it says, I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Ooh, I like that. So talking about that is talking about I am presence, knowing that you are in the present, understanding, you know, this is where I need to be at this present moment. This card is also, <clears throat> excuse me, a part of the crown chakra. So this is being in the knowing, right? So knowing that you have the answers um, to your questions when it comes to what your relationships, we're talking about relationships. So I Am Presence is calling for you to connect deeply with the divine aspect of yourself. If you have been feeling lost and lack direction, your I Am Presence holds the answers to all your questions, offering you divine guidance, loud and clear. In which I do love the loud and clear because you are talking about that intuition, saying that there is going to be clarity and understanding to this situation. There is definitely something that is going on when it comes to having a rebirth, right? So it's underneath this is talking about that beautiful transition, that beautiful rebirth, knowing what is going on around you, having a deeper understanding of things that are going on around your relationships, whether they're platonic or love or co-workers, um, family members, you know, anything, anything that has to do with your relationships. Um, over here, we do have the Venetian Galactic Council coming out as a star being guides, answering the call in time to shine. They want you to have this time to shine when it comes to relationships. They want you to look deeper within this situation. And I think this is very beautiful, too, because, this, you know, having this um, ring of fire that just came out was about that um, understanding faithfulness, fairness, um, understanding balance to your relationships, right? Because that Libra energy is about balance of relationships, right? So I think this is one of those things that's kind of like opening you up to those understandings, right? And especially because, you know, with Taurus energy as well, um, sharing that Venetian, right? That Venus with Libra is very important. Um, but with all the earth signs, right? It's time to get balanced, um, within this situation, um, with the meditation, now it's time to meditate, knowing who you are, getting in, into the knowing, getting yourself breathing, right? Staying calm, right? The meditation will help you, will help you get into that knowing, help you get that clarity that you, that you need, giving you that calmness so that you can hear, right? See clear. Get a message, you can hear the message, getting that gut feeling. And there's also a lot of abundance over here as well. So it's not just the abundance, also of just the love and the relationship of the abundance. It's also talking about all the abundance that you know that you guys can have. Right. So being very clear about what this abundance of within your relationships are, the abundance of love, self-love, all the things that you need and desire. So, very beautiful cards. I'm going to grab a couple of these cards over here. And these are the Whispers, uh, Whispers of Healing cards, right? So, I'm going to grab these and see what's going on. Grabbing a couple cards, loving that. So, really getting into those, you know, uh, root chakras, really getting into the crown chakra this month and the intuition area of your life. I love it. So, best message, please. I am present is, there it is, that self-love. So having that self-love coming out on I am presence, giving yourself the self-love. I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. You know who you are, right? You want people to be at your vibration. You have the self-love for yourself, giving out that love, right? Knowing that I'm not going to allow other people to walk on me, tread on me, uh, hurt me, right? Having enough self-love. 
to allow myself to walk away when I need to walk away, stand tall when I need to stand tall. Uh, with the rebirth over here, you do have the alt what's that? Alter alternative, excuse me, the alternative. So there is alternative things going on around you. There could even be alternative motives that you're going to see coming around you as well. Let's see what this 40 has to say over here. Number 40, alternative. <clears throat> Says there are lots of alternatives to situations, okay? Says your body is an anonymous miracle. It possesses the ability to heal itself. And of course, we're talking about the self-love, so there could be a lot of self-love through healing that needs to go on uh, for you guys when it comes to love. Help your body to heal itself and protect you from anything, okay, that keeps you away from self-care or learning to care for yourself in natural ways. Get plenty of fresh air. Be aware of how much time you spend indoors. Drink a healthy amount of water. Eat good, a good diet. Get plenty of exercise. Be sure to do things to detox your body on a regular basis. This says, I love this because it actually, if you look at the picture, guys, it says a fairy uses magic to repair a friend's wing. The fairy sitting on a mushroom may indicate exciting changes ahead. The mushrooms can represent your soul and the shift from dark to light. Ivy covering the ground beneath the fairies. Ivy is the symbol of the wandering soul in search for enlightenment, which I love because we're talking about the rebirth over here. Wow. Wow. Be sure of the direction of your desires so that you are not trapped by your wanderings. Ivy is also used for it for med, uh, medical purposes. Essential oils and or herbs may hold a solution for you. But I love this because we're talking about relationships. We're talking about rebirth. And then we're talking about her helping her, her wing, her friend's wing. You may even have friends that want to come and help you out as well. So make sure that, you know, not to just close the doors on everybody, right? You might have that one friend that wants to come, try to heal, help, listen, right? Very pretty. Very, very pretty card. I love that card. It's very pretty. Okay, and then over here on meditation, we have hidden blessings. Wow. So through the meditation, you're going to find many hidden blessings. There's many hidden blessings in the universe, which you'd be surprised what could go on around you. Um, you know, you're tapping into these hidden blessings when you're in meditation, right? Getting the answers, getting clarity on things. Um, once again, having butterflies again, talking about those beautiful rebirths, those new understandings. A rebirth, you know, is shedding up the old ways of thinking about things, bringing in new ideas, new ways of thinking. Okay, and on the abundance, we have the guardian, And the Guardian's talking about, this is 44. This card indicates communication with the Guardian Angel or Spirit Guide. No matter what is going on in your life, you have angels and Guardian Spirits with you. You have the innate ability to connect with the spiritual energy that surrounds you. Don't wait to be in crisis or an extreme situation before you connect to your Spirit Guides. You can ask them for guidance on almost anything. Your angels and Guardians are here for you but they cannot intervene unless you ask for their support and guidance. They cannot intervene with your free will, but when you ask for their support, the outcome is often better than you imagined. Be receptive and open to receiving guidance. Be approachable. Having an open attitude will help you feel the love and support your guides have to offer. Messages can come in from many forms. You may notice recurring in numbers, a specific flower, butterflies, or dragonflies. Your message might come through a song, or you may start finding feathers or coins. These are just some of the ways you can receive guidance. Once you begin acknowledging these messages, it will help you feel peaceful and shift your energy from negative to positive and helping within that rebirth again. Wow. Love these cards. A beautiful goddess. This is the card here. A beautiful goddess looks loving, lovingly at a smaller woman who is sitting on the side of a ship. The lotus is filling the water signify wisdom and spiritual enlightenment. The partially open lotus flower represents a soul that is opening to its beauty and the spiritual guidance of offer. The starlight and purple shades suggest the presence of protective guardian angels. 
Everyone can use a little bit of extra help or support. Or support. You are being asked to request extra guidance and to be open and to trust. The outcome may not be immediately apparent, but be assured the confusion will pass and peace will be uh, regained. I love that once again because over here it's talking about helping this wing, right? So you may, you know, maybe that's all it is too. If you don't have anyone to talk to, maybe you're saying, I don't have anyone to talk to about my love life. I don't have anyone. You have your guardian angels. You're never alone. And that's really what this is about, right? And this will make you feel abundance of what? Joy, happiness. Love, knowing that you're never alone, knowing that there are rewards all around you, but all you have to do is knock and the door will answer, right? That door will open for you. Never alone. No matter how alone you feel you are, you're never alone. And it's hard sometimes when you are physically alone. We have to understand that spiritually, we're never alone. We just have to adapt our minds to understanding that. We have to kind of transform and rebirth and meditate into the understanding. When you're meditating, you'll realize and you'll see your guardians coming towards you. You'll see the light coming at you. You'll realize you're not alone. That's why meditation is so important. I love that. And I love this. That's, I love this too because it says star being guides. Answer the call. Time to shine. Star being guides. Wow. Okay, guys. These two cards coming out. <clears throat> Grabbing some art of manifestation. Wow. Getting some some manifestation cards. Two cards, please, for the beautiful earth signs. They're beautiful chakra reading. I love this. Really getting your chakras open. Really getting, you know where you need to be, which direction. You have reached a turning point in your life. Do not be afraid of taking the wrong path. When you recognize the learning to be found at every step and every moment of your journey, you will realize there is no wrong way, only the infinite gain of your personal growth and evolution. Okay, So there's no real wrong path. It's just about... How you're doing things. What step am I taking? Okay. And the next card coming out is empower yourself. Empowerment does not mean that we have the power over others. It means that we have the power over ourselves. With that self-love, there it is again, right? We honor our capacity for free will and conscious. And conscious choice, excuse me. While honoring the same in others. This card ask you to evaluate your present situation and take an ownership of your own right to choose with a recognition of the entitlement of others to do the same. They're saying you empower yourself. You put yourself in whatever direction you want to go in. You have the free will. You have the power of choice to do what you need to do. And it's your entitlement as a human being to do what you want to do, just as others have the same, right? Just like they have the same entitlement and same power, right? Love it. And some messages over here. And getting some affirmations. I am affirmations. And the which direction we have. A, ooh. Abundance is my birthright. That's so funny because we're just saying that about empower yourself. Um, yeah, but actually I feel like it's going there. Abundance is my birthright. If you want love and abundance in your life, give it away. Of course, give it back. You want a lot of abundance in love. Love others. Remember, karmic, the snake eating its tail effect, right? What I put out there, I receive back. What I put out there, I receive back. If I'm giving love, I'll get it back. 
I am more powerful than I know, and I am beautiful just as I am. I wonder if that does go there. However, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the most beautiful thing you can wear is self-confidence. Empower yourself. Love it. Okay, overall daily affirmation for you. You can even write these things down. Tell yourself this every day. I am power. I am beautiful. Get those affirmations going. I am. Why do we say I am? Because the language of the universe is what? Aum. 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 Which is the closest to what? I am. Aum. Getting those chakras open. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? To feel your innate sense of truth, develop open-mindedness. Absolutely. Shut your mind down. Keep going strong. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.